how did you get into the adult industry? Um, so I was, you know, kind of in debt at the time and was looking for a quick way out. And like, I was on Craigslist for some reason. Oh God. Un- unrelated. That's always a bad way to start. I know. <clears throat> um, and then I came across uh, Metro Talent. Remember them? Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes, I do. <laughs> so I went in for an interview with them and then here I am. 14 years later. So did you just, so you weren't looking in like the adult sex work ad space? You were on on there for something else and then like something caught your eye and you're like, hmm, wait a minute, maybe I could do that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like found the ad on there randomly and it wasn't even on my radar really. Like I had uh, worked at a tanning salon before that and I was an airbrusher. Mm -hmm. I actually used to spray tan Stormy. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, before you got into Oh, interesting. That's funny, right? <laughs> was she was she performing then or was she just dancing? I think she was performing. Okay. Pretty sure. Yeah. So you didn't like happen to see her after you saw this ad and like ask her any advice about no. the porn industry. No. No. <laughs> just, okay. So so you go in and you meet with them, like how much experience did you have with porn just in terms of like, had you watched it before? Like what were your expectations? Um, do you remember, um, what was it? It wasn't Lime Wire. It was like another one of those. Like Napster? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Kazaa. <laughs> okay. 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 I downloaded my first porn on there. Okay. <laughs> and that was pretty much a uh, blowjob, like an instructional video. Oh, okay. So you were like looking to be educated mm-hmm. and entertained at the same time. And then there was like one other porno I downloaded on there, but that was the extent of my experience. So you'd only seen two porn scenes? Yeah. Wow. I'm wondering yeah. if it was an instructional video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you like think about that video when you did your first scene? You're like, hmm, like recalling Kinda, what yeah. you learned. <laughs> well, what was funny is that I didn't want to give a blowjob on my first scene. Really? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I, in my head, I was like, it's somehow it's degrading. Interesting. Which I'm so the opposite now. I'm like, yeah. like it's hot. Yeah. I'm like do that. Yes. I can, <laughs> I can see that. I've heard that from some people because, you know, I mean, I think especially when you think about people who are very conservative and, you know, like who obviously have sex because they're married and they want to start a family or whatnot, but they won't do the blowjob thing because, I don't know, it's like extracurricular activities or something like that. And probably just feels like it's not, I don't know if people think it's not natural. I don't know. People have all kinds of thoughts about why blowjobs might be degrading. I think it was the fact that I didn't think I looked good with my mouth. Or my mm. jaw dislocated. <laughs> like. Yeah, I mean it's a lo- it's a different look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but you, it's a it's a look, it's a vibe. Um, so you feel differently now. Yes, yes, I do. And like, how do you feel that you look like giving a blowjob now? Like, what's your thoughts when you look at the that picture or video? Now it's almost like I get a kick out of looking super pristine before mm-hmm. the blowjob and then like looking just disheveled and ruined afterwards ruined. yeah so that's like a game for me at this point like I want to look like a totally different person yeah is <laughs> it beginning because, to end is it because you want to feel like you look like you put the work in yeah yeah oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. spot on <laughs> <laughs> I mean I personally think that blowjobs are empowering because it's like this it's the one sex act where you have complete control over your partner's pleasure, right? Mm-hmm. Like you get to decide how fast you go, how slow you go, like how you do it. You have control over like when they ejaculate. Yeah. Um, and also like, you know, low key, like you could just bite their dick off if you wanted to. So there's there's <laughs> that too. There's a like element of danger. I don't know. Maybe that's just what goes through my head. <laughs> totally. But I mean, I, I I love giving. I give great head. Yeah. Just saying, you guys will never see it, but just rest assured, I give good head. You have an OnlyFans, right? Do you- I do, but I don't do that on you there. You don't. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm like very tame. I'm like super, like softcore nude. Very very boring. 
cool. Yeah, I get a lot of people who are like, where's your butthole? I'm like, not here. Where's your butthole? The, specifically, people want to see that. It's like, Interesting. I don't, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> of all the things, like, because I also don't do, like, open leg or spreads or anything. It's like mm-hmm. the butthole, I don't know, they go right before that. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.